hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce and this is rohit and today i'm going to discuss about new flow feature of spring 24 release and uh, if you want to learn something new please watch this video until end and please subscribe the channel and turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side and please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new so let's get started without any further delay here you can see the logo of spring 24 release and uh, this is the first feature like repeater beta screen component is still in beta but we can use this you know a repeater uh, to use multiple you know components in a single screen so add a set of component to a screen and uh, enable your user to duplicate the set of components at the runtime with a new repeater component okay so if you want to learn this repeater i already created uh, one video so you can find out the video and you can learn this repeater in depth okay so this is the first feature in this spring 24 release and in this repeater we have two buttons one is add and remove you can uh, add the component or you can add the elements at the runtime or you can remove the component at the runtime so that is the repeater very useful feature you can try once okay so second feature is send data to data cloud using flow so here in this you know this data cloud use action to send data from a flow to data cloud through interaction or you know injection api without writing any code for example use data send data to data cloud action in a flow to create an automation that automatically send the data to data cloud or use it in a screen flow that is send engagement data directly to the data cloud so once you create this action you will be see this option send to data cloud and based on your action you can use this kind of you know input value for the selected action so this is another feature in this release so next feature is verify your api connection via http callout so this feature also have lots of you know feature configure the api response from a new http callout you now have the option to choose connect for schema selected or connect to for the schema establish a connection to the api endpoint and retrieve an accurate real-time sample response body the response from the selected system is uh, then used to automatically configure the http callout in the flow builder add the action element and then click the create http callout so here you can see the selected sample response method you have to select this connect to schema option and then you have to write these all you know url path or which method you want to learn or which method you want to use and query parameter so in this screen so you can see this one like set url path this is a query parameter and just click on this connect and you will be get to know more about it this is the you know verify schema okay so this is another feature in this release you can try once okay so next feature is some of some or count items in the collection more easily with the trans transform element still in beta but you can use it so this feature is also used in this you know so transform collection of the data between the flow resources with the transform element in the flow builder the transform element includes some challenges or changes since the last release now you can aggregate the data from a source collection to calculate the sum or count of the item in the collection and assign the result to a target data field you can also enter a fixed value for a target data field so here you can see aggregate this icon this is aggregate icon source collection and this is the also aggregate type is a count or you know some so based on your requirement you can use this kind of you know element inside this release okay so next feature is run event trigger flow as a workflow user so this is also a new feature select whether to run event trigger flow as the user that triggered the flow or as your org specified default user workflow user if you selected the default workflow user any changes triggered by the flow are attributed to the default workflow user regardless of who triggered the flow in the start element of an event trigger flow expand the advanced settings section and select who to run the flow as running as the default workflow user can help if you 
if your workflow rule fails or flows fails due to mixing mixing callout and DML operation. So you can check this default user option here in the event trigger flow. So this is also a new feature in this release. Next feature is save the progress of your flow as your build expanded to more element. So in this screenshot you can see the steps. This is the first step and based on this step you can use it. So with the update you can save your flow at the any point in the building process without finishing the configuration for all the element except for the screen and action. Required values do not need to be completed. Error that previously prevented you from saving your flow are now warning. Okay. So in flow builder open the existing flow add any element except a screen or action start configuring element field changes can be performed individually rather than in bulk or continuous editing to undo your changes once at the time once at the time you can click this option here you can see this is the undo option and do not finish configuration your new element to keep your changes and return to the canvas click on this cross element here you can see the second one and uh, when you return to the canvas your element that is not fully configured is identified with a new error icon and this is the error icon here you can see this one small one and uh, save your flow here you can see the save your flow and after that your flow is saved and uh, dispute the error that would have the previously prevented saving now you can now you receive warning instead click this warning icon here you can see this warning icon and to view the warning okay ui changes for available resources this is the new feature and this new feature have lots of you know ui changes once you clicked on you know any ui components so this is also a new feature the ui of the available resource and create a new resource has changed for the data element so suppose I want to create a new update records here you can see use IDs and select the record to update immediately you can see the collection co contact collection and contact with icons. So this is also a UI updates about this spring 24 changes or release in this year. So this is another feature like more screen component supported input validation. So for instance name phone address email data table lookup toggle url and file upload component now support input validation so in this screenshot you can see uh, validation input so here in this one you can use uh, this uh, more screen component supported validation things okay this is another feature new feature is uh, this is the next feature identify which flows are using the email alert so this is another handy feature or useful feature inside the flow and which email alert uh, using the flow you can easily recognize or you can easily identify using this flow using this email alert this is another feature and this is the another feature and use prediction from your AI models in the flow so once you create the new you know action you can see the data cloud under data cloud you can select your prediction about your custom object or the standard object so this is another feature here next feature is debug data cloud trigger flow and you can debug this data cloud flow using this kind of options right so test your flow behavior and troubleshoot issues with the new data cloud trigger flow debug tool in flow builder the debug tool lets your select an existing data cloud record to test for specified condition without affected your actual record open a data cloud trigger flow in the flow builder and click the debug from th there select a uh, triggering data cloud record and then run the debugger okay so this is also a good example here you can select created debug pause element behavior and trigger record this is the id and click on this run you can debug it okay so this is all about the spring 24 new feature for the flow you can learn more about it okay so if you have like any query question or any feedback please share with me and please stay tuned in this channel and please also subscribe my youtube channel for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys